The second of the Royal Navy's Type 45 destroyers, HMS Dauntless, has visited Sierra Leone as part of her first operational tour. The ship will conduct many different roles while she's in West Africa, as Ali Gibson reports. It's not every day a warship docks in Sierra Leone, so at the British High Commissioner's residence, Freetown's journalists got the chance to quiz the ship's captain. This is the third African country the ship has visited since she left the UK in April. During her time in West Africa, HMS Dauntless has quite a wide remit, helping other nations to improve their maritime security and counter narcotics work. But she's also here to fly the flag, promoting trade and industry between the UK and countries like Sierra Leone. A trade fair held on board aimed to encourage investment between the two countries. But with the civil war in Sierra Leone ending only a few years ago, it's not the first time some of those on board have been here. Before I was on HMS Illustrious um, and we were actually off the coast of, um, we were on our way back from a Gulf deployment um, in 2000 and we were diverted down this area when the trouble started and we actually sat off the coast in the centre of aircraft and, and uh, so we didn't actually see anything so to actually now be here later on in years and actually see where, where everything what you were actually doing 10 years ago is quite a, a good thing to happen to us. As a Type 45 destroyer, HMS Dauntless is a ship that can defend itself, with its Sea Viper missile system the most advanced of its kind in the world. But since they've been in West Africa, the ship's company have been teaching others how to build their own defences. We're trying to work with the local authorities to train uh, the Navy, uh, help train the Navy, uh, so that they can protect their own territorial waters and exclusive economic zone, uh, so that uh, acts of piracy, counter narcotics work and all that sort of thing uh, is something that they're able to do themselves. We've had a few guys coming on and doing some boarding practice which has been very interesting. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, cross-pollination teaching them and that kind of thing which has benefited us as well as the African nations as well because we get to see what standard they're at. After Africa, the ship will head for different waters, spending a short time off the coast of the Falkland Islands, making it the first ever Type 45 to do so. The Navy and indeed the armed forces have had a, a presence in the Falklands now for many, many years. Uh, so Dauntless's deployment to the Falklands and indeed the South Atlantic has been long planned. What I hope to do, of course, with a new ship like this is conduct quite a lot of work with the Army uh, RAF counterparts that are down there uh, to uh, improve interoperability between the assets that are already there and the Type 45 destroyer. With all that to come, those on board have a busy few months ahead. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Freetown.